good evening, wherever you land in the world. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Look at this tree in the background. We got some autumn, an autumn tree in the background. Oh, so cute. All right, my plan today was to go to Green Roof, which is like a mini Japanese farmer's market here on the base. And then I was gonna go get some matcha. I haven't had that in a while. TMI, but today, you know, Ma, I got my period. I really have to work on it because it came on day 40. So I typically have a 32, 32 day cycle. It came like the past two times and I believe it has to do with all the stress I've been under. I plan on doing some acupuncture on myself while Leo is napping. Hi dad, if you're watching or family, there's your TMI. My dad likes to watch my channel now and my videos. Hi dad. Probably laughing now that I, s I said hello. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out, but it's so, so windy. And I literally can't even walk with Leo. So that's really upsetting because it was raining yesterday and I was like, oh, it's a beautiful day to go for a walk. And then, yeah, it is crazy windy. Misawa has so much wind. Anyway, so let's go to Green Roof because I'm just gonna drive there to go there. I think I'm gonna like drive to Life Cafe. That's where I'll get my matcha. And then I'll walk to Green Roof from there. And then hopefully Leo will nap by that time. No now. Good thing I didn't walk because it started raining as you saw in the video. <laughs> it's sprinkling with the sun out. Maybe there'll be a rainbow. What's wrong? Some matcha? Matcha latte? Look at their Halloween sticker. <laughs> so cute. This weather is so crazy. It's so nice out. Like I shouldn't even have my North Face on. And then it was raining and now it's not raining. It's not that windy over here. So I'm gonna walk over to Green Roof that I just came from Sky Plaza. But anyway, this weather is crazy today. I'm gonna go to Family Mart and get some little snacks or breakfast for myself because I haven't eaten anything. I love the Japanese trees. They're so cool. Family more. Here we go. Look at all these carrots, Leo. So many carrots. <gasps> Look at the pumpkin. Look, Leo. Look. Big pumpkin. All this garlic wheel. It's a lot of garlic. It's a little. Oh, this one's really cute. An interesting flower. Hold on, mommy's getting flowers. Show me a pumpkin. Wow. Can you have a bad day when you have a matcha latte? Mm -mm. Mm? I'm gonna give you guys a little mini green roof, farmer's market, and food mart hole. All right, I got these really pretty flowers to boost my mood. They're nice and pink and light pink to represent love. I'm gonna have to like put them in a glass or something because I clearly don't have any vases. I got some of these snow peas for Devin. He loves snow peas. I got these tasty lava chocolate lava cake cakes. Can you tell that it's my my monthly time? Because I also got chocolate. 
chocolate croissants, okay? Who doesn't love chocolate? Actually, I know one person that doesn't love chocolate and it just amazes me. I got three of these of mangoes because the commissary has been out of mangoes and Leo loves mangoes and I got two peaches. So that is my mini haul for you guys. And now I'm gonna go drop off Devin's coffee. I got him the Hawaiian salted caramel. Oh, he has a different sticker, Halloween. I'm gonna take a sticker. I wanna save it. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna rip off. Anyway, I'm gonna go drop that off for my husband. I'm such an amazing wife. And oh no, everything's falling out of the bag. And then I am gonna drive around so that Leo can fall asleep. Cause he's tired. Right? You tired? You got your pumpkin? He's holding his pumpkin. I don't know what I did with my phone now. Oh, oh duh, I'm on it. Okay, Leo is tired, but he's not napping. So I decided to go to the thrift store, cause why not? I'm here all the time now. I have three yen. So I'm gonna see if I can find him a book or a toy to make him happy because all his toys are shipped away. They got all the pumpkin stuff. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Everyone's been talking about this spider in the in the lobby, and it's huge. We have a tower page, so everybody talks on there. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh my god, she is freaking huge. She's here for the spooky vibes. Oh my god, oh my god, guys, she's freaking huge. Like, look at her. She's gnarly. Like, I don't know if you could see. look at her web. Wow. The pumpkin is complete. My little pumpkin friends. Grab yourself some matcha. Matcha latte, coffee. We're gonna have a little chit chat about positivity. We're gonna have a little positive talk. The other day, so I've been doing a lot of like breathing techniques. I've been doing that square meditation that I shared in the other With that being said, I can't just pretend to be like happy when I'm not feeling it in the inside, right? And I've been having a lot of like aha moments recently, like I said in the other video that how can I want to connect with other people if I haven't been deeply connecting with myself? And I just realized like even in my early 20s, I'm like, wow, I want to be that like person again. And not saying that it was like all rainbows because it wasn't, but like I used to have this outlook and like and positivity and like look at quotes and things like that. And I want to be that person, but I want to be like that even better. And a positive tip for you guys is allow yourself to change we're always changing no matter what like season changes right like our life is the world is very cyclical but one thing i want to like talk to you guys about that's been on my mind for a few months is that like you're allowed to change you're allowed to change your mind and it, that could be like a little bit difficult right to implement because maybe you'll get judgment or maybe you said one thing one day and then you change your mind the next day and it's like well now like that person's not gonna believe you or whatever the situation is but or you get like stuck in the past right well like i wasn't like that in the past or i can't i can't be more positive because I've had a negative mindset or I can't, you know, build relationships because I'm not good at communicating and this person is going to think this, 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 A, B, C, whatever it is. I hope that this is translating well through the video. Comment down below. Hopefully you agree or understand. But my point is, is that we can have so much resistance to change, right? Like, especially when it comes to changing ourselves to be better, to grow. Like, I'm a type of person. I need to grow. I need to be learning. I need to be always learning and growing. That's just who I am. I always wanted to better myself. I always want to improve myself as well. And I really just want to get back to being even more positive, like how I used to be, but better where it's, I, d I don't know how to explain it. Like I just feel more positive and it's com like a complete energy shift. And I'm really grateful for it. There are different things that like I'm doing EFT, which is a 
emotional freedom technique tapping that hits certain certain acupuncture points that is said with positive affirmation but i've been saying this for a while that i want to move forward into missouri in a certain way and if you don't change you're going to be the same person in that environment the grass is not greener on the other side right like if you do not change and you are feeling let's say for example depressed or annoyed by the mundane of the daily life like if you don't change internally your next environment is going to be the same and i have full experience in this because i've moved from new york to arizona arizona to japan going to missouri i'm like no i have to change like this needs to change that those are my positive thoughts i just feel that i want to become the person that i truly am and that's what i'm feeling like my real authentic self and i do feel that living on this base have felt like I lived in a prison I feel like I live on um far away in like a little snow globe going back to the states I'm gonna appreciate so much more of what you normally don't appreciate for example like getting mail that comes to your door living in a house and not living in a two-bedroom tower you know that's where like I learned and I'm gonna appreciate having these things so much more and like it just gives you a different perspective in life with that being said to kind of wrap this up is know that you can change you can always change you might not want to change because of resistance because of your environment because of what other people will think of you. Choose yourself and choose to allow to change. It kind of falls into the categories of like self-esteem and having confidence in yourself. And I have have had really low confidence and self-esteem the past couple of years. And of course the pandemic plays a huge role in that for everyone, right? Because you're isolating. And if you're someone like me, that's like always in their head. And it's like, you create this vicious cycle. You create this vicious cycle and when you have this certain vicious cycle that you're you're falling unconscious and you're not so conscious you repeat the same thing over and over again and you're like in your head i want to change but why is change not happening right it's because you really have to have a strong why you have to really want to change it has to be something that you really want and if you're thinking about it every day right because i've been thinking about it i've been thinking about how i want to be who i want to be in missouri right? i've been thinking about that every day like i want to be a more positive person i want to be connected more to the community i want to make friends right away when i move there right i don't want to do what i did here which was isolate myself and completely like just work and isolate and i was so sad i was so alone it's not trust me it's not easy being a military spouse it just really isn't there's a lot of challenges that come with it anyway that is my little ramble positive talk i hope that makes sense i know it's kind of like all over the place it's kind of hard to like gather my thoughts but one of the things that i really want to bring is light to the world i really these past three years just kind of hid in my shell and just hid now i'm ready to like open and to spread my wings and i'm so happy that it's happening now when i'm in japan and not happening in missouri so it's like kind of like it's not gonna be superficial like i'm energetically changing and i really hope that it sticks around i really hope that this continues down my path i'm gonna go edit this week's video i hope you guys are having an amazing day to study i'm sorry about the quality of these videos i don't have my camera so a lot of it is grainy like the lighting in my house in the kitchen in the bathroom it's just horrible lighting so i apologize in advance anyway i'm on my way to go study for a couple hours i'm gonna be studying every day i don't like the lighting in here i'm gonna start studying every day once Devin comes home because he comes home around uh, three o'clock and I'm gonna study for two hours every day just to get some studying in so I'm probably gonna go down to one video a week just because I need that extra time to study it takes me about an hour two hours to edit a video and I need that time to study I might not even actually film it just I'll just have to like see how it goes so I'm just giving you a heads up in advance the sun is like setting but anyway I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're just gonna eat dinner once I get home and do our night routine. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you land in the world. Bye!